Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Let us read the question. Verify that minus of minus x is same as x for x equal to 13 by 17 and for x equal to minus 21 by 31. Let us try to understand the question. We have to verify that minus of minus x is equal to x or in other words we have to verify that additive inverse of minus x is x let us start with the first part we have x equal to 13 by 17 then additive inverse of 13 by 17 is minus 13 by 17 that means minus x is equal to minus 13 by 17 now we have to find additive inverse of minus 13 by 17 that means we have to find a number such that minus 13 by 17 plus the number gives us 0 Clearly, 13 by 17 is the number. That means that additive inverse of minus 13 by 17 is equal to plus 13 by 17 and which is equal to x given in the question. And hence verify it. that minus of minus x is equal to x. Now let us verify the second part. x is minus 21 by 31. Then additive inverse of x is plus 21 by 31 that means minus x is equal to plus 21 by 31 now it remains to find the additive inverse of minus x that is we will get minus of minus x additive inverse of 21 by 31 will be minus 21 by 31 that means minus of minus x is minus 21 by 31 which is same as x hence we have verified let us try to understand the distributive property if we have 2 into 3 plus 5 that is same as 2 into 3 plus 2 into 5 that means that multiplication gets distributed with both the numbers in the bracket. So we multiply 2 with 3 then put the plus sign and then 2 with 5. Distributive property also holds if we have minus in the bracket. So then it is equal to 2 into 3 minus 2 into 5. So we use distributivity for
for splitting a product as sum or difference of two products. Consider this example. In this example, we can see that the question is already split up. So we can use the reverse of distributivity. That means we can take out 7 by 5 common. Then minus 3 by 12 plus 5 by 12 remain in the bracket and it becomes easier to solve it. On solving, we can get 7 by 30 as the required answer. So, our distributive property can be used both ways. Let us read the question. Find the value of the given expression. We can rewrite our question as Now since addition is commutative for rational numbers, we can change the order of these two expressions. Also notice that we have changed the expression because we could see that minus 3 by 7 is common for both the terms and we will be able to use the distributive property after rearrangement. So let us use the distributive property for these two expressions. After using the distributive property, it becomes much easier to solve the question. Let us solve this further. We will get 5 by 5 plus minus 1 by 14 so we have minus 3 by 7 and minus 1 by 14 left let us solve further we get 14 as LCM and minus 6 minus 1 in the numerator which gives minus 7 by 14 which is same as minus half and which is our required answer.